Hey guys, Mbloor here, and welcome back to a very special video here on the Mbloor channel. So, this is finally my 500 sub special, and I know, I realize, we're at 784 at this point. Look at this, hold on, let me just, let me just get this. 783. So way past 500, but uh, the reason for that is because I have this huge thing that I've been working on that I wanted to be my 500 sub special, and at this point, it's probably still not going to be out for a little bit. Um, so I'm going to have it as my 1,000 subscriber special. And it's going to be massive. It's going to be huge. It's going to be amazing. That's not this. Uh, I, however, do have something really special for you guys. I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, I know I've done a slam poem on the channel before. Uh, but that was kind of like a, um, kind of a memorial thing for uh, an old friend of mine from high school uh you know that that died in a car crash um and this is this is more for like expressing myself and showing you guys kind of what the struggles that i'm going through are and kind of like what you don't see really um when i'm when i'm filming videos for you guys or like streaming or whatever um so I wanted to kind of put this out there and um, just kind of show you just the progression of uh, like feelings that I'm going through right now um, but I'm working on it. like it's it's something that like I'm getting better at and I, I'm so blessed to have all these amazing people around me that like support me and uh, I can you know I can talk to them about this stuff and um, I actually like can go to like counseling for this stuff um, and that's not a bad thing, like, literally, like, everyone should do, um, counseling, because it's freaking, it's just amazing, um, and it helps you, like, learn more about, like, um, you know, how to figure out if someone that you really care about is hurting, and how to reach out to them, and, you know, how to kind of, uh, dig up those, like, buried feelings that you might have as well, and that's kind of what this is, um, I didn't really ha know I had these feelings until I kind of like uh, wrote all of this out and uh, so you know I'm, I'm working on this stuff but I want you all to know that um, if you relate to you know some of the stuff that I say in this poem um, you know please reach out to someone and um, you know talk to someone and if you don't have uh, someone in your life that you can reach out to my DMs are always open on Twitter uh, you can always just hit me up there if you want to talk um, like nothing that it's ever said in my DMs leaves my DMs uh, so please please uh, you know do that if you if you want to uh, but this is just kind of my gesture of saying thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers um, at this point it's 700 so thank you for that um, but uh, and I hope I hope we can hit 1,000 by the end of the year. I really hope uh, you guys enjoy this, and I'm super scared uh, to actually show it to you. But um, I just wanted to um, show you guys that I'm, I want to kind of express myself a little bit more on this channel and let you guys know that um, you know feeling things is not there's there's nothing wrong with with having different feelings about things. Um, it's just how you approach them, and hopefully you can. Um, you know, work on it and work on yourself and, and better yourself for the future. So, um, anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm getting a little emotional here. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it, uh, for this. I hope you guys enjoy the poem. Uh, thank you so much. I'm mad. I'm furious, writhing, pissed off my rocker. I'm angry. Angry at a discussion about food. Angry at a meme that I take as rude. Angry about a stupid tweet someone made as a joke. Angry that I can't find the remote to my own life. I'm angry that I hate myself and can't get past it. I'm angry that the money in my account might not last. It drives me crazy even though someone pays me. And I have enough to spend on food and gas, and I have enough to lend to someone if they ask, but I'm still angry. 
because I can't get the things I want. I can't do the things I want to do. There's only so much time in the day, but there has to be a way to get through it with at least one thing completed. Instead, I feel defeated. The reality is that I do get things done. I mow the grass out in the sun. I wash the dishes down to the last one, but I can't get everything done. And it's not enough. I can't ever have the perfect stuff. I can't ever have the perfect body. I can't ever have the perfect skin. I can't ever have the perfect videos. I can't ever, ever win. I will never win. Not like this. This pain, it gets to me. I just want people to remember me. I want a legacy. How can you be remembered for being frustrated at a game? How can you be recalled when everything you make is lame? Just finish something and it will be seen, will be left in someone's mind. But the thing is, you will never find the end. Just finish something. But if you start so many things you can't finish, and what is left to relish that was yours, you can't cherish a score. It's your heart that shows through. It's the admiration of your heart that defines you for you. I'm angry that my admiration of myself stops short, but there's more in my heart and my core. I don't want to hurt anymore. I don't want to feel these painfully wide open doors. I want to feel proud of how far I've come. I want to feel rooted in my own love of myself. I want to someday see my work up on the shelf. I don't want to spew this venom at those who love me or be envious of those above me. I want to stop being so irate. I want to impact, I want to create. But I need to move past the hate, the anger, the danger that constantly looms towards me, moving, racing, chasing me. So do I erase it or do I embrace it? I need to use it. Channel it, direct it where I need it to go. This anger has to be used against those negative things that abused my pride, my happiness, my success. The best parts of me that I had and still somewhere have. My anger is the antidote to rid myself of the poison that I wrote inside of me. Every doubt, every fear, every disappointment lingering near, I need to eliminate them, eradicate them. It's time to free myself of the toxicity. Anger has a kind of electricity that is not always negative and can sometimes be positive. Anger creates change, makes a range of differences inside of you. It consumes you, but also refuels you. It's what you do with it that defines you, refines you. Don't let it say your mind. You have to control it. I'm angry. But that means that tomorrow, I won't be.